Hey everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This vlog marks my first content for the month of August, my birth month. Life was a little busier lately, that's why I never had a chance to be quick in posting my vlogs for this month. This special content, as you can see in the title down below, showcases my mock trial experience. Probably a first and a special feature on my law school journey. I'm so excited to share this with you, but first thing first, I'd like to make a shout out to my top fans, both who exist in the private life, who just deliver their support through private messages, and also those top fans acknowledged by my Facebook page. Thank you guys for really giving me that kind of support in this channel, my vlogs, and all of the posts that I am giving out from the page, and yeah it means a lot so as we begin don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel This portion of the vlog shows you our first and final preps for the mock trial. Most of our discussions were made online given that we are all busy. These are my law school buddies and as you have seen, Shane took over for the first portion of this vlog and our trial presentation was just actually guided by a script and through that we will follow through. We were actually divided into groups in collaboration with the other section. It was such a great opportunity to also meet new people from that section, the section B. And this prep time was also a time for me to finally catch up with my mates or my classmates. Since the beginning of August, I was not often out. I stayed home or I was busy working and mostly exposed to meetings and you know just a private time for work and whatnot so now it's like a very great time to catch up with everyone hello College of Law. Uh, my classmates are practicing for their mock trial. I'll be preparing for my cross examination. So my own, I the second floor. This is LLB 2B and LLB 2A. So yeah, we'll practice sila sa loob. So let's take a little snack. Di pa ako maayos na kapag suklay, but that doesn't matter. So let's go. We'll be going to the moot court. We'll set things up. So, ooh, we're turning on the lights. So, we're here. And this is how it looks like. And yeah, I'll be counsel for the plaintiff for the mock trial. And I'm kind of stoked. But... So, here the lights are already on. And we will set up the chairs. So, this is how it looks like. This is the moot Si Ma'am Aisha, my classmate. Where you? <laughs> yeah, nagpa-practice sila dito. Ako mag-aaral pa ako for my cross. So, here. We'll set things up and I'll just 
On this final prep day, with me were some of my classmates from Section B. Thanks to Sir Bong Salcedo for, again, <laughs> entrusting the key of the building to me so that we can prepare the chairs, the tables, and all the other setups we needed. And also, it was a chance for the other groups to be able to practice. I was already good and fine with the flow of my direct examination, though my cross-examination for that portion of our case presentation was kinda shaky since I had to be extra conscious of the questions that I will ask. This was what kept me a little bit nervous because, you know, the possibility of objections and whatnot. So I was a bit nervous and uh, it is my first time to actually play as counsel. So it's both an exciting and challenging experience. That is why I often expressed how excited I was on the previous clips that you have seen. Hi vlog, tinalian ko hair ko kasi sobrang init na dito. So yun, they are inside the mood court and they are practicing yung group nila. Ako naman, I will go home in a while and prepare for my cross examination. Yun lang din naman, but then my script daw kami. So I don't know. You know what? I'm so excited. Like excited in a way na I'm I'm gonna enjoy what's going to what's going to like happen. So I look forward to the experience because last time judge ako diba? on my March vlog. So this time I'm gonna be uh, counsel for the painting. So I thought I have to decide for my outfit. So yeah, Medj always some girl. So yeah, I don't know. I'm so excited. So yun. we also prepared the chairs as you've seen the time lapse. So yan, I'm going practice sila every so hoping for the best. I'm excited and I just want this to end beautifully. So I vlog. Naka-uwi na ako. Hindi na ako naka-vlog when I left the university. So, na I'm home. So, yan. I got myself chicken bucket, uh, tuna pie, and alaki. No, I won't be eating this. I'm sharing this with my brother. Kami lang yung nasa house now. So, yun. Uh, I'm hungry. And this is a cheat day. Kasi lately, I've been eating very, ano, ano ba? Few and healthy. So, now, Mag cheat day ako. Like after three weeks, I'm going to eat Jollibee. So, I deserve this. And tomorrow is trial day. After this, maliligo, mag pray and then mag um, aral. Dito si Kidi. Char. <laughs> Vlog tayo. So, let's eat and I'm super hungry. So, this is my cousin Kidi. Yan. Hi. Gutom, gutom ka na? Oh, gutom na kami. We're so hungry. Yeah, let's eat and let's eat the chicken. As you can see, I woke up this early. This was the only time that I was able to properly conceptualize matters for my cross. I rehearsed and internalized that moment, imagining myself, how I'm going to do it, and just really feeling it in my heart so that um, I could make it through the day and through that session. So honestly, it feels very different as compared to my role as judge back in March during the criminal procedure MAC trial. This time, it's all different because, you know, as counsel for the plaintiff or as counsel at that, it feels a very big difference. It, there's a very big difference on that. So yeah.
And of course, even if I was a little pressured, I did not skip my so far consistent workout routine in the mornings of every day. This has been starting since uh, July ended. So like it's like it's been ongoing right now and this gives me that boost and I don't know, it has finally become part of my system. Like it's a habit now. Like without it, I can't go through the day. And with this workout routines that I have, it makes my day extra, extra, extra special and bearable. And I don't know, the energy is just so high. So yeah, I think that's what adds up to the beauty of my day. We're finally in the university ngayon. So, hindi na ako nakapag-vlog after my workout because I've been occupied and I was preparing now for stuffs and all. So, now, andito yung mga ibang gamit. I went to Mercury Drug. I bought Pandesal. <laughs> Tapos, yun yung mga gamit ko sa likod. And there's my outfit for later. So, yun. I'm so excited. Wala pa naman tao. It's already 8.30. So, wala pa sila. And I guess I'll be off now. And we'll prepare. I'll show you what's happening at the moment dun sa loob. So, yeah. I'll still fix my hair though. So, mm, I'm so excited. Going inner attorney Wu Yang Wu Charot. So yun, uh, I'll be going now and andun sila. May tao naman. So I'll just vlog whatever I can. So basta excited ako for this learning experience. I just really want to spend the day beautifully and I'm so excited. Parang yun talaga, mas excited ako versus whatever competition is happening. So parang yun, I'm very excited to learn. So Yan pala, my pants, the usual gray pants. And then eto, I'll just be wearing this temporarily for like whatever errands I have to run. And then I'll change for my outfit na nangita ko kanina. So let's go and let's have fun. Thank you. 
And so yeah guys, that was our group's presentation. The judges or our professors seem to have really had the fun while watching our group. I could see that from them that time. The last portion, especially on that demur to evidence, was all spontaneous. What I uttered was purely impromptu comments, guys. So like, it was not even a part of the script and whatnot. So what an experience in total. I could really see my professors cheering for us and they were happy about yeah how our group made it this far. And of course, winning best counsel for the plaintiff came as a bonus. The experience overall was unforgettable and a plus in our law school. Of course, thanks to attorney Floriza Salas for this opportunity. I mean, without her as the course professor, I doubt that uh, we would be having this kind of experience as we go along in our journey in law school and you know which will lead us on to the legal profession so everything was really heartwarming and uh, the experience overall though tough but yeah it was all worth it went home, I took these photos and even went to the nearby Sinunuk Boulevard to capture such an amazing sight. You know, I love sunsets, I love city lights or anything that lights up at night, so like that, that gives me fascination and of course to include even sunrise on daytime, so yeah. They give you that nature vibe or relaxing feeling and I suppose it was the universe's way to give me this kind of view or scene to remind me how beautiful and productive the day was and really the essence of gratefulness. I have been through a lot for the month and the past vlogs that you've seen so yeah, honestly I could not stop smiling while I was driving, going home and I don't know, I, I smiled, the music was playing, and it was all so good. So yeah, finally, we survived the challenge for the MAC trial. And finally, it's all over for now, and uh, I couldn't help but really, really feel grateful. Because despite everything, it came to this, and yeah, my heart's full. So to my law school buddies, Sophia, Shane, Denzel, Atean, Cass, Sarah, and Jerome, thank you for helping me out in organizing this event. I mean, you know, these people really tried their best to have their own committee for themselves and it was basta uh, nakakakilig na feeling as a leader and it just felt so amazing. Together with my JD2A classmates, thanks for always supporting and yeah, it's extraordinary. And of course, to the JD2B class's president, Beshi Aye, together with Sir Conqueror Tabamo, attorney Salas para Paralegal, thanks for being there and you really made the job easier for all of us. And I believe that with your help, it actually made our event a success. And to you, my dear viewer, thanks for taking time. I would again like to take this chance to make a shout out to my top fans, both in the private or personal life, who just send their dedications and uh, 
compliments through private message and those that were publicly acknowledged by my Facebook page. Thanks for the never-ending replies to my story, comments, support, and love. I'm super grateful. I mean, these little things, they go a long way and they mean a lot. And you guys know who you are. So yeah, I love you all. So I guess that sums it up and I will see you on my next vlog. Please don't doubt or hesitate leaving a comment down below to let me know that you were here. I will see you till the next content. Bye.